This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2012. I'm joined by Matt List, VP of Marketing for Master Image 3D. Welcome to the program, Matt. Hey, Neil, what's going on, man? Very good. It's, it's been a good show for 3D so far, I think. So tell us about Master Image. I, we interviewed Master Image last year, which of course was very popular. But for those who aren't familiar, tell us a little bit about the company. All right, so Master Image 3D is the fastest growing stereo 3D company in the world. We have a 3D digital cinema system as well as our glasses free 3D display. And nobody slept at Master Image over the holiday because we've our best uh, run yet at CES. We've got three things that we're showing. One is our 10.1 um, inch 3D glasses free display that we're actually showcasing right now with um, James Cameron's Titanic in 3D which is beautiful. It's actually um, 1920 by 1200 resolution, so it's big and beautiful, working with Texas Instruments with their OMAP 4460, as well as uh, CMI for their TFT display. So that's the first thing we're showing. We're also showing a 720p smartphone display. So what that means is HD quality, uh, glasses-free smartphones, that is our beautiful, uh, best looking uh, yet. On top of that, we are showing our uh, Master Image 3D media portal. So we've been meeting with OEMs and ODMs around the world, and while they're loving our display, they also want a, a pipeline of content. So we have a streaming uh, portal that we're debuting here. We've got content from National Geographic, from Red Bull Media House, AWOL Nation Video, and some wonderful um, original uh, 3D content from studios that we work with in Hollywood. Excellent. Very exciting that you got some footage from. It's very exciting that you got some footage from uh, James Cameron for Titanic 3D. Yeah, we actually we have a ton of uh, uh, trailers. We've got trailers from Universal uh, and Illumination Studios, the, the Lorax. We also have the new Spider-Man trailer, which is gorgeous on our device, uh, and, and a Men in Black, Men in Black 3. Now, Titanic, actually, just, just to go a little off topic here, I mean, that's a 2D, 3D conversion for sure. How, how are the results, do you think? It's gorgeous. I mean, one of the things that we see there, it's the uh, positive parallax. So the par in, into the movie, really, depth of parallax is really beautiful. Let me turn it on again. Um, and we're thrilled with how it looks, yeah. Excellent. So, now, Master Image, your, your core product, from what I gather, in the case of Glasses Free, are auto-stereoscopic 3D panels. Um, maybe you could tell us a little bit about the Master Image technology. How does it work and how do you differentiate yourselves from the other products out there? So we have a what is called a parallax technology. So um, what, what that means is that we have a series of barriers that are right eye and left eye barriers that we turn on and off to create the illusion of 3D. Uh, typically in a lot of the uh, products you see out there like the uh, Nintendo 3DS, they're a striped barrier. So there's a series of striped um, strips of uh, right eye, left eye barriers. Ours is similar to that, but it's called a cell matrix parallax barrier. So it's a series of cell gaps that allow us to do three different things. One, it lets our uh, product be both portrait and landscape. Two, it allows for more light to come in, so it gives us a much brighter, more beautiful image. Finally, we um, <clears throat> are able to use our cell gaps to align our um, barrier very closely to the RPG pixels on the uh, second TFT uh, panel. What this does is it allows for us to have an extremely wide viewing angle. So one thing that struck me, I, I know, like I have access to a 3D smartphone, and I, I, what I have to do is I have to flip it horizontally to see it in 3D, and then if I go back to uh, the what do you call it, the portrait mode, uh, I can't access the 3D anymore. In the case of Master Image 3D, I think you mentioned this, but am I correct that you could have both positions and still see in 3D? Yeah, so some of the things that are really wonderful about our product is one, that it can go from portrait to landscape. So if you want to watch like a movie in a landscape mode, you can watch it that way. We're also working with HarperCollins on some animated kids books. And that's, you know, we, if you watch like um, a book like Fancy Nancy, which is a kids book, you can watch it in landscape. You also can flip it and be able to watch it in portrait mode. So, you know, some games, puzzle games, people typically like in portrait mode. Um, you know, still photos sometimes that people want on portrait mode. So there's that flexibility. Now, are we? When do you have some guesses on when we'll start to see products with with master image displays in them? A uh, second half of this year, we will be uh, rolling out smartphones and um, tablets. I don't have any dates yet. I can't get into details on specifics because we're still working out the deal. But second half for sure. Excellent. So so far, I'm I'm seeing a 10.1 inch tablet, 
You, you mentioned, it, it, remind me of the specs for the, for the, for the smartphone panel. Okay, so the 10.1-inch panel is uh, 1920 by uh, 1920 by nine, 1920 by 1200. Excuse me. Uh, the for the uh, smartphone panel, it's 720p. So that's an HD 720 display. Excellent. Now you also mentioned an online portal. So what what can we find at the Master Image Portal? So um, our Master Image Portal is. Um, one, it's in 3D, so it's a really beautiful 3D UI. It's our own case study of the fact that one of the content categories is 3D UI. Uh, we also um, <clears throat> are aggregating content you know, really aggressively, so if anybody out there has content, please contact us, we're looking for it. We um, will be having sh uh, movies, short form content. Uh, some of the people we're working with in this uh, show, for example, is National Geographic. It's got some beautiful uh, underwater content and um, things of that nature. Red Bull Media House is really active in um, extreme sport content, but also just uh, local Hollywood production houses. Or 3Net, which is the um, Sony Discovery and IMAX channel, there's 40 different production houses in LA working on content. So there's a lot of people with great content that will need an avenue for their content to be shown. Now, I'm hearing a, a lot about cinema-related content. Uh, do you think there's potential for 3D gaming on mobile? I mean, we know about the Nintendo 3DS, but I mean, what are your thoughts on 3D gaming on, on mobile? Do you see some potential there? I mean, I see enormous potential. This is the area that I get most excited about. So first of all, um, I worked at Glue Mobile for seven years, and I know that the mobile developers tend to migrate when they start seeing volume. So as we start to see big volume in this category, we're going to start to, to see a massive you know, adoption of this for game developers. One of the other things that's happening is all of the major chip manufacturers are working on chips that will do 3D rendering of um, you know, 3D rendered games to stereo 3D. So when that happens, the library is going to become enormously large for uh, 3D games. So on top of the fact that you're going to see increased volume and also advances on the uh, chip side, you know, the library is going to be get much larger. And I would add too that the processing power that we're seeing on these mobile devices is is quite amazing. I mean, I I, I wasn't there to see 3D stuff at, at the Nvidia uh, conference, but I was I was seeing. Uh, you know, their CEO playing some mobile stuff on, on a tablet, and it was quite compelling to see how close the graphics were on the mobile platform to console and pretty close to PC as well. So it's really quite something. So uh, any final remarks for CES 2012? Yeah, I mean, I am. I think it's a you know wonderful show. 3D keeps getting better and better. I think that um, specifically, you know, that we are going to start seeing more and more of the tablet being kind of the go-to device for 3D in the home. That one, you know, people want to have that personal glasses 3D experience, but also what's so wonderful about the mobile product for 3D is it's not just movies, it's not just TV shows, it's going to be still photos, it's going to be video, it's going to be 3D UI, it's going to be 3D books, it's going to be, you know, applications that we haven't even thought of yet. And that kind of, you know, more elaborate, wider range of content is what's going to be really get people going about, you know, the 3D tablets. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us. We've been talking to Matt List, VP of Marketing for Master Image 3D. We'll be back with more from CES 2012. Thanks for watching.